Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to show you how to make easy homemade bread. You don't even have to touch it and I'll even show you that. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we have our ingredients here. We have three cups of bread flour, We've got 12 ounces of warm water, right there, which is a cup and a half. We have one teaspoon of instant yeast, and we have one to one and a half teaspoons of uh, salt. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to start off, we're going to we're going to pour in our water into the bowl. Then we're going to add our yeast, just like that, and our salt. Okay, I love the smell of that. Now we're just going to kind of stir this up a little bit. I'm just using the end of a spoon. Okay, we're just going to let that dissolve in the warm water. I also warm my pan up. You know, I just let it set out and let it get room temperature away from the air conditioner. So that way my water doesn't get cold. It doesn't have to be hot water, just warm water. Okay. Now, we're going to take our flowers, three cups. I'm just going to kind of put it in there so it doesn't splash. Now we're going to take the end of our spoon and we're just going to mix this up, incorporate it. I guess this is this would be a mixture. Okay. So we're just going to go like this. Now we want to scrape the sides of the bowl down. I just got this little rubber spatula here. And mix it up a little bit more. And get all get all of it on the sides. Now when you when you set this to let it proof, I keep wanting to say poof every time I do this. Uh, which is just a fancy term for letting it rise. You're going to want it room temperature. So if you got your air on, like I had my air on, and you can put it in direct sunlight, like over by a window, or turn your oven light on and set it in the oven. Now, this is only going to take 90 minutes, an hour and a half. Okay, so there we got this. Now, you can use saran wrap you want. I just, I happen to have this nice lid for this bowl. I'm just going to set it right on top like that. Now I'm going to set it in the oven for 90 minutes. And your oven light should heat that oven up to about 80 degrees. So I'm going to set the timer for 90 minutes. Start, which is an hour and a half. Now this will rise up and then we should be able to uh, uh, once we take it out it should double in size and um, should only take about an hour and a half and then I'll show you the next step. Now while we're waiting on this to rise I want to tell you this is not my recipe. I've got I got this off of a gentleman on YouTube. He goes by um, artisan bread with Steve and uh, he does stuff like this on there uh, that's who I got this from this idea uh, recipe whatever um, and it was the easiest one I have ever found but this is the first time I'm trying it so you guys will 
be trying it with me. So, you know, really three ingredients, four if you count water, but you're just going to need your bread flour. You can use regular flour, it just doesn't rise as much. You can use self rising flour, or yeah, self rising flour. But he used bread flour, that's what I'm using. So you're going to need flour, your yeast, and your salt. Um, like I said, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half, or half a teaspoon. You can also put honey in this. You can have honey bread if you're going to be baking buns out of it or whatnot. So let's let this uh, do its thing for 90 minutes, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, it's been 90 minutes. We're going to take this out of the oven. Oh, nice. We'll set this up here. I can go ahead and shut the oven light off now. Okay, now this should have doubled in size, and it did. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take our pans. We just, a uh, monkey just went and got these. And, uh, we was going to use those aluminum pans. These stupid gnats, I'm telling you. We was going to use the aluminum pans, but they were smaller. I'll show you. Let's see. So she decided we'll just go ahead and get those. Now those, those aluminum pans, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make a, a meatloaf in them so we can have our own personal little meatloaf. So the first thing we're going to want to do, now I'm doing this, if you watch a guy's video, I'm doing it exactly the way he did. I'm not copying off of him. I just want this to turn out good. Again, his uh, channel, now we're going to spray these. His channel is um, Artisan Bread with Steve. So check him out. And these we're just gonna we're gonna coat it with spray. This is all I've got here. Uh, I guess any spray will work. I don't know if you can use oil. I'm I'm sure you can. Okay. So what we're doing? He called it a poor man's Dutch oven, which I've done this before. Okay. So that's gonna be our bottom. Now our top, we're just gonna have to get around the edges. Okay. Like that. Um rolled coat or not rolled coat um, we got to degas it and pull it so you just grab it and it's just like just like a dough hook so you want to go around just like that whoops and you want to pull it as you can see I'm not touching it That's what we're going to want to do. Now, what, you, what, you, what you're going to want to do is flour this. So you're just going to want to sprinkle a little flour on here. This is called roll to coat. Okay. Then you just roll it around in there and get, your, get a little bit of flour on there. So I'm trying to do it exactly the way he did it because his looked awesome. Okay, now we can dump it in our bread pan, just like that. And I'm going to take, take my little spoon, just kind of give it a little bit of this right here. Now we're going to put our top pan on, just like this. And I got these little... Um, these little clips, these binders or whatever you want to call them. Now we're going to set this aside and let it proof for another 30 more minutes. While we're doing that, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So let's go ahead and set this aside. We're going to set bake. 400 and start. Now we're going to let this heat up for um, 30 minutes and then I'll be back with you and we'll put the bread in. Okay, we have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. This has proofed for another 30 minutes. Now we're going to put this into the oven for 35 minutes. Just like that. 
I'll see you guys in 35 minutes. Well, actually, for you guys, it'll just be a second. But for me, it'll be 35 minutes. I'll be back with you, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. We're almost done with this process. Okay, guys. It's been 35 minutes. Let's open this up. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to take the top off of here. Then we're going to bake it for 5 to 10 more minutes to brown to finish the crust. So, let's see what we've got. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Now I'm going to keep it on this. I'm going to put it back in. You guys see that? Now you can see it. Yeah. Now I'm going to put it back in and for five to ten more minutes. I'm just going to keep an eye on it through the window. And then I got monkeys sneaking around here. Oh, you look good. Do that again. Yay! <laughs> I'm looking forward okay, so, to it. Okay, so let's get it back. That is another video. So. All right, I'm doing two videos at the same time here. So let's put this in there. I'm going to give it five minutes and then we'll check on it. And I'll bring it out and show you when it's done what we have. And here's what we've got. Look at that. All right, let me get a piece of parchment paper. We're going to take this out and see how it looks. Hopefully this will come right out. Wow. Look at this guys. Mm. And it smells spectacular. This is what I always used to do. I've made homemade bread, you know, hundreds of times, but never like this. So I would like to thank Mr. Artisan Bread with Steve for this. He's got recipes online as well. So we're going to let this cool and then we're going to try a bite of it. So let's let it cool a little bit. Let that butter get nice and melted on there. Then we're going to try it. Okay. I've got a taste tester. Her name is Monkey right here beside me. Let's cut into this. I know, you like the heel. Look at that. Nice, you did a great job, you can tell. Look at the steam. Mmm. Look at that. All that right. looks good. Now, we're going to get her, do you want butter on it? Yes. Now I'm going to cover this up. So she's going to get some butter, and we're going to give this a shot. Okay, monkey, you ready to try your bread? Yep. I'm ready. Give it a shot. Let's see what you think of it. Mmm. How good. How good is it? Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bring me off a piece of that, will you? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, we're never buying bread again. You bake it all the time now. Ooh, nice and piping hot. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Isn't that good? And you can put honey in it. Mm-hmm. Make your honey honey bread. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's good. That's a good idea, hon. You said you won't make your bread today? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. So good. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out artisan bread with Steve he's where I got this from it's not my recipe unfortunately but it's very very good isn't it? Mm. very good you know a couple hours of your time and you can make more than one loaf at a time so mm -hmm. there you go what do you think? very nice very nice okay mm -hmm. you ready for a steak yeah. alright I'm gonna cook her a steak Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. Monkey Sushi's out for now. Bye, y'all. All right, admit the man of legend. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.